Three to two Yankees to the bottom of the tenth, and Jake Cousins on. Buckling the knees of Will Smith. Well, you know what Cousins knows. He knows who's batting fourth. You don't want anybody to get on base and have the game winning run in Otani come to the plate. Cousins has one career save. One ball, one strike on Smith. It's a guy who was cut loose pretty much by the White Sox. Wound up being the worst team in baseball history. Yankees got him for nothing. Bigger and bigger role. And now trying to save game one of the World Series. His 1 1 to Will Smith. Outside ball two. And a sinker breaking ball is going to be what he's going to try to get Will Smith, who's been stubborn on really not swinging outside the strike zone too often. Nice pitch right there, two and two. Smith 0 for 2 today. Sacrifice fly back in the fifth. So the Dodgers have gotten both their runs. Smith and Betts both sack flies. 2 2. Poke to right. Soto. One gone in the tenth. Then up comes Gavin Lux. Lux is 0 for 3 today. Hasn't played a ton lately. He's been bothered by hip issues. In there every day in the division series, but only a handful of at bats the last almost two weeks now. Well, the good news for Lux on that slider that nobody's been able to hit for Cousins, at least that ball's coming into you on a break that you might be able to see in the zone. Took the first one away. The league's only hitting 144 off that slider. That is a virtually unhittable pitch when he's got it locked in. The 1 0. Yes. Takes it inside ball two. The Dodgers, as you said, desperate to get a man aboard to get Otani to the plate here. Edmonds on deck. Then it'd be Otani. Cousins home of the 2 0. Lux takes a backdoor strike. We've got a pair of left handers warming if it gets to Otani. Both Hill and Nestor Cortez, who hasn't pitched in a month. The 2 1. Check swing. No swing. Ball three. Stayed with that pitch. He got a backdoor 2 0 to be a strike. He tried to get the swing there and held up. On a 3 1. Lux takes ball four. And now the Dodgers will take just about any outcome other than a double play. Tommy Edmond comes up. Now on this team that has Otani and it has Betts and it has Freeman, the guy coming to the plate here was the MVP of the National League Championship Series, and he's been huge in today's game defensively. He's also got a double. You see Hill and Cortez both ready to go for Otani. Tommy Edmond picked up at the deadline. What a player he's been for these Dodgers. Do you consider bunting just to make sure you don't ground into a double play? No. No, because then they're just going to, I get it. In theory, you, you walk Otani and then you pitch to Mookie Betts. But in this situation right here, a walk was the one thing you didn't want to have by Cousins because now it creates even Edmund the winning run. He can hit a home run. We've already seen it. So you're, you're at. You're at stress level that you don't want to be in a one run game in extra innings knowing who's on deck but you got to take care of who's in the box right now. And as you're talking about with the Yankees in the top of this inning always got to have your eyes on those base runners against relievers Lux has good speed first pitch. Wow strike one. Carlos Torres has been all over the place. Well that side of the plate has been a little more lenient. Tying run at first, winning run at the plate. This game's had it all, man. If you're not involved in this game as a teammate, your stomach's in knots. <laughs> you actually feel better when you're in the game, but when you're watching and there's nothing you can do, and you're rooting for the best outcome, but it's a torture. 
On an 01. That is on the inside corner. So Edmund is down 0 2. His cousins get to call on both sides. Well, now what that does is put a lot of stress on Edmonds on a breaking ball on either side of the plate, right? The best place to go right now is a down and in slider to force the action now that Edmonds seen both sides of the plate a strike call. So he really can do whatever he wants. You just don't want the breaking ball in the zone against Edmund. Drop slow, one ball, two strikes. And again, the best stress would have been where that fastball was called. If you imagine starting a breaking ball on that plane, it would have put Edmonds in a total panic, thinking and trying to recognize if it's a strike or not. Jay Cousins to Tommy Edmond with a one-two and a ground ball right side under Oswaldo Cabrera. Luck stumbles as he rounds second and gets back to the bag. A base hit for Tommy Edmond. Tying run in scoring position. Winning run aboard. And a once in forever player coming up. Well, this breaking ball was in the zone too long. Cabrera doesn't make the play. And luckily, Lux, who fell down, was able to get back to the bag. This would have been a devastating out at second. So which one of those lefties does Aaron Boone choose to go to? He's got Hill and Cortez both ready for Otani. Who will it be? Nestor Cortez, who's not pitched in a month. How about this for a soft landing? Go in there and face Shohei Otani with the World Series game one on the line. What theater here in Los Angeles? John Nestor Cortez last pitched on September 18th. They thought that his season was over, but he's rushed back from this elbow injury, knowing that there's risk with him returning. And he rushes back to face this man here, Shohei Otani, with a tying run at second, the winning run at first. Yeah, this is gutsy, and the guts that uh, Aaron Bone is showing because Nestor Cortez, a starter, that is going to be in a role to get two of the biggest outs and not having any action for 37 days. He had a pinch runner at second, Chris Taylor. Arms in the outfield really good, especially for Dugo and left. So here we go. What an opportunity this is for Shohei Otani and for baseball fans all over the world. His first trip to the postseason, his first trip to the World Series, and in the 10th inning of game one, he's got a chance to be the hero. Well, unless he hits a bullet at an infielder, it's almost impossible to double him up. So you got two chances to tie the game or take the lead if you figure Mookie Betts is definitely getting up in this inning. First one from Cortez is lifted to left field. Verdugo runs over and makes the grab. Did he hold on? He did. Alex Verdugo makes the grab. He goes out of place, so the runners will get 90 feet. But they get Otani on one pitch. This is an incredible catch going full speed and making the catch. And then going out of play and throwing the ball from out of play. Alex Verdugo has made a couple plays. He had a diving catch to end the bottom of the ninth. And here he goes into the first row of seats to get Shohei Otani. He gets up and throws this ball in. Well, that's Dead what ball he once he's out of play. <laughs> Waved off Aaron Boone and the training staff. And somewhat fittingly here, you know, with all the talk about Shohei Otani, you now have Mookie Betts coming to the plate, and they may put him on and take their chances with Freddie Freeman. But again, all the talk about the superstar at the top of the order. These guys, these former MVPs themselves, a lot of chances funnel to them. And the bases will be loaded here for Freddie Freeman with the Dodgers down three to two and down to their last out in game one. Well, the good news here for Dodgers is Freddie Freeman doesn't necessarily have to do anything but get a single and jog the first. 
but beating something out in the ground will be limited because of his ankle. Yeah, the kind of at bat that every kid that plays baseball dreams of one day having. You tell yourself, right? All right, bottom of the tent, bases loaded, World Series, one run game, Dodgers, Yankees. Reality for Freddie Freeman right here. Taylor the tying run, Edmund the winning run. Cortez delivers. Freeman hits the ball to right field. She on an October night 36 years ago. A hobbled game one hero for the Dodgers. Freddie Freeman with a walk-off grand slam to win game one of the World Series 6-3 over the Yankees. Unbelievable. Went up there looking for a pitch. He got it. There's just no way to describe. I mean, there's just no way to describe it. Would you say you don't believe what you just saw? Yeah. <laughs> They retire Otani, they walk Betts, and Freddie Freeman, who hadn't had an extra base hit in a month before today, legged out a triple in his first at-bat. And he ends this game jumping on the first pitch and launching a no-doubt grand slam that they'll talk about for ages. Down to the field with Ken Rosenthal. Freddie. Grand Slam walk off in a World Series game. Yeah, where does that moment rank for you? Oh, I don't know. Again, that's uh, that stuff you are five years old in the backyard right there, and that, that's a dream come true. But that's only one. We got three more. Going up to the plate against Cortez. What's on your mind? First pitch. Trying to be on time for the heater. Um, it's all you can try and do, be on the heater closer to you. Try and push, leave the cutter and slider away, and I was on time for the heater. Now it was nice you didn't have to run hard. I How was your ankle? You legged out a triple earlier in the game. Yeah, I actually felt pretty good. Um, the last six days, we treated it really well. I've been feeling pretty good. So right when I ran out to give uh, high fives tonight to my teammates I felt pretty good because that was the first time I ran all week so uh, ankles good you ran over to your dad yeah. after hitting that home oh, run yeah. what did you say to him oh I was just screaming in his face I'm sorry dad <laughs> uh, yeah he's been there since I was a little boy throwing batting practice to me every day so this isn't my moment that's my dad's moment it's been such a tough year for you physically yeah. off the field with your son Freddie, how gratifying is it just to get this done for your team? Yeah, pretty gratifying. Um, this ranks up there pretty high. Uh, it's pretty incredible. So it's been a long three months, but these fans here, when I came back that first game, they showed, the, showed love. I'm just glad I was able to reciprocate tonight. Freddie, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you.